Welcome to another unboxing video of Powerful Plays and today we're going to be unboxing uh, Folklore, The Affliction and then possibly um, tomorrow and then the next few days I'll provide a walkthrough of my gameplay Alright, so here we go uh, Let's just take a look at the back for those that want to see what it contains Yeah, it's a 1-5 to five player RPG type board game So without further ado I'm going to try and keep the cover on this uh, The wrapping of the cover on this box So I'm going to be opening the bottom a bit More carefully than I would do a normal game uh, Reason being that um, My friends have told me that we keep the top Part of it intact, it will prevent molding on the box cover as well as have like a little gleam to it. So I thought, you know, you know what, let's try that. I've done it with some of my uh, board games before, so it's not new to me at all. There we go. So the bottom part's gone, and that leaves the box still with the shrink, but I can open it because I really talk about that way. Okay, so here it is again, Folklore the Affliction. Let's see what we got. Rule book. Nice quality rules. I've read somewhere that you don't really need to read the full rule book because um, the first mission will walk you through it step by step in the tutorial. But anyway, this is going to be a bit of nighttime reading for me. So we'll check it out. Wow, that's a ton of components. By the way, I got this cheap off. Um, Singapore Amazon so ordered on Thursday and today Saturday you know it came within two days so that's pretty good okay story journal uh, one thing I want to find out is the replayability of this game how well does it replay I've read that the character sheet doesn't come with the game so you need to download that um, yeah something like that there you go you need to download or print it but I'll probably find a fillable PDF one online and then I will be filling it in after every um, adventure. And then th throughout the adventure, I'll probably write it down somewhere. Okay. Nice. Quality cardboard. Doors and monsters. Tokens galore. Token, 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 token. Token, attack tokens. And I don't know what these are. Potions, scrolls, weapons, equipment, I guess. More. Okay. So this version doesn't come with the um, miniatures. Instead, um, it comes with cardboard standees, which I don't mind because I still have a ton of miniatures to paint and I haven't even got started on those yet. So this is actually not bad. Not that bad an alternative if you ask me. So not bad. And then the I'm guessing these are the encounter bots that will zoom in to a particular each individual fight. This is probably the map itself. Let me just take a look. Yep. It's the map of the land where we'll be traversing and walking around. And going for our adventures. Uh, oh, nice. They've done all the punching and bagging for us already. I probably just need to bag these tokens. Um, health tracker. Again, I've read that these were not the best way to keep track of health. So I'm going to be using um, my old Magic the Gathering life tracker. That might be a lot easier. Either that or just grab a couple of D10s. My spare D10s. Characters as to see this is uh, interesting. So starting characters we have the arcanist, the archaeologist, haha, <laughs> avenging madman. This is I'm probably gonna be playing this. I play play two lah. So we see how exorcist, telepath, and witch hunter. So if I were to choose right now, just based on team itself, probably play the the avenging madman and exorcist just to see how it, one attack and the other one is probably going to be standing back uh, and then dealing damage from afar All right characters ah, very good, I like it when I don't have to 
Un uh, what do you call it? Unwrap the cards. Everything's in a nice bundle here. Let's take a quick look at ability. Just guessing all these are not abilities. These are probably items. Yep, items. Um, spells, rituals. Companion, yep, companions. And these are the abilities. Okay. Wow. Sleeve? No. Not going to sleeve. Not going to sleeve. Too many. I'd rather be playing. I sleeved the um the other game that I got the other day and that was okay. It was just 100 cards. This one definitely more than 100 cards. So not going to sleeve. Watch this. These look like events. Yep. Road event. A whole bunch of road events. And then these are off-road events, which I guess are double-sided. So you probably need to hide one side, read, and then pa the description for the choice. Yeah, and this is the one to cover it. Okay. Let's see what's next. I see some standee, so I will probably do that after this. Oh, very good. They give this. I have a few, but it's good to see games that give this. Um, these are like anti-moisture mold silica gel packets. Wow, these are most monsters. That's a lot of monsters. Contemplating buying the expansion, but I think, nah, I'll probably stick with these for now. So I read that on one side is the monster that you fight uh, as an encounter. And then the other side is a, is a lower level kind for skirmishes. So for skirmishes, I read that you don't even need to use the map. You just roll dice based on the stats. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, look. Check it out. These are the character cards. So the two that I want to use, the Avenging Madman. Yeah, let's take a look at it now since we are since I'm going to be looking at playing him very likely. He starts with a bail hook and a bandage. Okay. All right. And then these are probably the boss monsters. Okay. And then finally, dice, a bag of uh, dice and standees and small little cubes. So I guess I can combine all these and use some of these bags to keep the tokens. All right. So that's folklore, um, the affliction. Unboxed. Join me again next time where I go through a playthrough of the actual game. Okay, so till then, stay safe. Take care.